Hello my wonderful students, I hope you are doing well. So today I have brought part 2, chapter 3, synthetic fibers and plastic, class 8, science. As you might have remembered that in part 1, we had discussed about the synthetic fiber, how are they obtained, their examples and specifically we discussed about the rayon. So, for this presentation, we will further discuss about the few more examples of synthetic fiber. Hope you will enjoy. So, in the types of synthetic fiber, the second fiber that we are going to discuss today, it is nylon. Now, you can see in the picture and you might have seen the nylon string at your home. Generally, this nylon string are quite durable and they are quite strong. We use the nylon string for drying our clothes and even for holding or lifting so many other objects which are there at our home. I have seen my neighbor using nylon string for lifting bucket from the ground floor to the first floor. So, you can have an imagination that how sturdy and how strong this nylon string it, it is that it is used for so many various tasks. Now, as we are discussing that the synthetic fibers and that they are prepared using man-made sources or the chemicals. So, the question should be like how this idea of preparing this kind of man-made fiber come in their mind. So, whenever human or uh, any scientist or researcher think that we need something very strong or we need a replacement of some particular uh, natural fiber. So, they think like suppose if you are using a jute string. Now, jute string is not that sturdy or that durable or it cannot lift the heavy object. They might have thought that something look alike of jute or jute string should be prepared which is man-made and have more durability and even can be used for lifting some heavy materials and even it can be used for woven uh, the beds. Now, now what here I mean the woven bed, you might have seen the traditional khatla uh, in your hometowns or even nowadays this traditional khatlas are seen in the restaurant, their strings are made up of jute. Now, this uh, jute strings are not sturdy as I told you, they are not so uh, durable. So, the heavy person wants to sit on that. Uh, they might get break. So, as a replacement of jute string, nowadays this nylon strings are used for the woven part, as a woven part of those khatla or traditional bed. So, even the heavy person or more than two person can sit or sleep uh, on those traditional khatla. Now, you must have understood that what we are going to talk about the nylon. So, let us talk first how it was invented by the scientists. Now, after the introduction, let me just go ahead with the production and the idea behind the uh, creation of the nylon. So, the nylon is another very important man-made fiber. In 1931, almost 90 years back, it was made without using any natural raw material. Now, you must have remembered that when I was discussing the preparation of rayon, that is the first synthetic fiber that we had discussed, which was prepared using wood pulp. And at that time, I told you as a, we, as a raw material, we are using wood pulp, but at the end of so many chemical procedure, rayon is prepared. So, we will categorize rayon under the synthetic fiber. But here, in the case of nylon, we are not at all using any natural sources. So, we can say that it is purely synthetic fiber. It is, it is completely synthetic fiber. So, it was made without using any natural raw material from plant or animal. It was prepared from coal 
water and air now you must have seen the coal coal or you can say it is a, a process wood which is generally black in color which is used as fuel in the goods train so those coal are treated with the water and air and at the end of treatment what we get is it is the nylon so we can say that it was the first fully synthetic fiber so in examination if they ask write a note on first purely form synthetic fiber you would you will write about the nylon but not the rayon so keep this thing in your mind because nylon preparation does not uh, does not take any of the natural source as the raw material now so how how this nylon look or what are the basic property of nylon that we are going to discuss in this slide so nylon fiber as in my introduction i told you that is used for lifting heavy objects heavy water buckets and even for drying out clothes and so many other tasks even for uh, woven uh, woven procedure of those traditional khatla or a bed so it has to be strong and yes it is strong elastic and light now strong and light that means it is quite durable but at the same time it is light in a weight it was lustrous and easy to wash now what you mean by lustrous lustrous that means it has luster or the texture is not rough the texture is quite smooth and so it is easy to wash you can easily wash the nylon beds or like nylon khatla or a nylon string using detergent so it become very popular for making certain clothes we use many articles made from nylon such as socks robes tent toothbrush car seats belt sleeping bags and curtains now sleeping bags is like they are used by the uh, mountaineers or the hikers now how how do they use this because as you know that they do they go on a mountaining so wherever they get a proper place they will have their tents over there and they will sleep for the night so during those preparation they are using sleeping bags as a protective protective material those sleeping bags are made up of nylon even your school bags they are also prepared using nylon so you know that they are water resistance so during monsoon your bags protect your books from getting wet so because of its property of water resistance so you have got enough idea that certain socks certain strings certain ropes certain tents toothbrush car seat belts you know that car seat belts are quite sturdy some sleeping bags which are been used by the hikers or the mountaineers and certain amount of curtains are prepared using nylon so nylon has got wide popularity because of it versatility now let's discuss about the characteristics possessed by the nylon so nylon fiber as we discuss it is quite strong elastic and light in a weight it was lustrous and easy to wash now suppose if they are used for making parachute so they can be easily washed using water even if you are making your tent with the help of nylon you can easily wash those tent and most importantly they are water resistant so they will not hold water so they dry quickly it is become very popular for making clothes certain sports wear are also prepared using nylon because sport wear has to be more flexible and it should be not holding more of sweat so they are also uh, used for making certain type of clothes or the athlete clothes now we use many articles made from the nylon such as socks ropes tent toothbrush car seat belts sleeping bags and curtains as we have discussed earlier because nylon possess a great great popular characteristics 
that is highly in demand this days by the people now again here where are we using you can see the mountaineer here you can see the person enjoying parachute so this nylon strings are quite sturdy quite durable that they can withstand the weight of healthy adult even they can be so used nicely used for the mountaineering purpose as you know it is with the high risk so one should not use the natural fiber here because they might not be so sturdy and so strong so the natural fibers here are replaced with the help of nylon which is quite stable strong and durable a nylon thread is actually stronger than a steel wire can you imagine this that you have a string wire and uh, you have a steel wire and you have a wire made out of nylon so which holds more weight that is nylon not the steel so now you have got an idea that why nylon is so popular with so many of so many materials like you can prepare parachute you can prepare ropes you can prepare uh, you can prepare some tents you can prepare certain types of clothes so because of this all kind of characteristics nylon is so popular this days now after all this discussion we are going to come up with certain activities this activity i'm going to explain to you you will perform at your at your home and you will come up with the results and the observation now let's see what the activity first say about now you have to take an iron stand with the with the clamp take a cotton thread of 60 cm almost 2 feet tie it to the clamp so that it hangs freely from it at the free end suspend a pan so the way can be placed now you have to create some uh, tool that is like you are using a cotton string as well as you are using a nylon string and at the end you are supposed to keep a pan and this pan you will use to keep way and at the end of activity you will check that which fiber is stronger and the fiber which is stronger can hold the maximum amount of weight so at the end of activity the fiber which hold the highest amount or the maximum amount of weight is is called the strongest one now add weight one by one till the thread break now suppose you are taking first cotton you have to weigh you have to add certain grams let's say 50 g let's say 100 g then you are adding 150 g and if that thread break you have to notice at what way the thread got got broke now this you will try with all kind of fibers available with you you can take a cotton string you can take a jute string you can take a nylon string and if you have some other fibers available at your place now now the weight it can hold indicates the strength of the fiber so repeat the same activities with the thread like wool polyester silk and nylon now for the identification of fiber you may take the help from your parents and even you can search in the google chrome that what kind of property or what kind of look this fibers have tabulate the data as shown in the next slide and arrange the thread in the order of their increasing strength so first it will come the least least uh, stable string and at the last you will tabulate the highly durable string so here you have seen the table that we are using cotton wool silk nylon so in general what do you think which fiber is so strong here and which can hold the maximum weight now you have to make sure that every time you cut the fiber in the equal length every time you have to take 60 cm you can't do that one fiber is of 30 cm another fiber you take of 60 cm that will not give you the fair result so you will see that which fiber holds the maximum weight and according to this this fibers are used for preparation of so many household and so many other objects like ropes and tents etc now you can also repeat this activity with the other kinds of fiber and so you have some data with you and you can say that 
which fiber is highly durable and strong and which is least durable i hope you will enjoy this activity now in this slide we are going to talk about the third most important synthetic fiber which is polyester and acrylic now polyester is the another synthetic fiber we have already discussed about the nylon and rayon so now we are going to discuss about the polyester and acrylic now fabric made from this fiber does not get wrinkle easily they are not they don't get wrinkle easily and that is the reason that many of your school uniforms their material is polyester because if you cannot iron them well well every day they won't look bad if they are made out of polyester it remains crisp and easy to wash again they are easy to wash and they are again easy to dry so it is quite suitable for making dress materials like specially school uniform and athlete suit you must have seen people wearing nice polyester shirts and their dresses terilin one more example is terilin is popular polyester so terilin is the example of a polyester which is the third synthetic fiber and terilin is very popular this days it can be drawn in a very fine fibers so they can be woven like any other yarn you can prepare even handkerchief out of it you can prepare even sari or t-shirt or any sort of dress whichever you like so polyester because they have a unique property that they don't get wrinkle easily they remain crisp for the longer period of time they are highly in demand these days for making school uniforms and other sort of dress materials now polyester and acrylic now before i start with the acrylic you might have heard that this days the word pet or you can say pet is very famous or it is very cautious why because this is a type of plastic like this is a type of material mostly baby products or baby tools are made out of pet because of their property of uh, resistance towards the bacterial activity now what does this mean now pet that means it will not allow any chemical reaction with the surroundings so whatever things are stored in pet items or the the items which are made out of pet material will not get contaminated easily number 2 they did not they won't allow any bacteria to grow inside so all the baby products and all the baby materials their walkers their swings their toys and their suckers or their any kind of materials or their bowl their brush or their food materials uh, containers this all are prepared out of pet so you have got a bit idea about the pet let's talk about pet more pet is very familiar form of polyester so the first very famous form of polyester was terilin after terilin we are discussing pet it is used for making bottles specially the milk bottles utensils this utensils specially the baby utensils in which we are going to prepare a food for the baby films now here the films that means it is the photographic films wires and many other useful products so let's see that box what does it say my mother always buy pet bottles and pet jars for storing rice and sugar i wonder what is pet so now you have got that why that tupperware is quite expensive than the other plastic bottle because the famous brands like tupperware and cello and milton this all this all are made up of material which is pet and pet is highly in demand because it is anti corrosive and it do not allow bacterial activity to grow so that is the reason for the storage of food or preparation of food we prefer pet over the normal plastic now again we'll discuss more about the polyester and acrylic so we wear sweaters and we use shawl or blankets in the winter now you might have heard of certain uh, certain blanket in summers they turned out cool 
they make you feel cool and the same blanket in the winter will make you warm so they have a dual property and why do they have a dual property because they are made from the polyester so surrounding seeing the surrounding this fibers will make the property change and according to that or according to environmental condition they will keep you either warm or the cool how nice about this you can you don't need to purchase two blankets you can use one blanket for the both of the seasons now so this sweater certain shawls in that you don't feel so warm and even that you don't feel so cold because they are made up made up from the polyester so we wear sweaters and use shawls and the blankets in the winter many of these are actually not made from the natural wool you might be surprised that is not the wool though they appear to resemble as a wool so this are prepared from the another type the fourth type of synthetic fiber which is known as acrylic now you say that ma'am we have heard the word acrylic but what does it look like so whenever you see any fancy sweater or a designer sweater or any kind of a different kind of material shawl or a sweater or a jacket or a cap so those are not actually a true wool but they are look like of wool and they are nothing but the acrylic so the wool obtained from the natural source is quite ex expensive so to replace that we have developed acrylic which is just a look like of wool it act as a wool but it is quite cheaper in the price so the wool obtained from the natural source is very expensive whereas clothes made out of acrylic are relatively cheap but possess the same quality and same property so that is the reason that they can be dyed easily they can be they are so cheaper they are processed well you can wove you can woven them because of all this characteristics in last 40 50 years synthetic fibers have gained their demand over the natural fibers now they are available in variety of color so these are the important point to be remember that what makes them so popular so the first property is they are available in various color tempting color certain natural uh, synthetic uh, certain natural fibers cannot be dyed so easily whereas synthetic fiber can be dyed in a various varieties of color synthetic fibers are more durable and affordable which makes them more popular than the natural fiber as they are so durable but at the same time they are so cheaper so that is the reason that people these days are choosing over the synthetic fibers than the natural fibers now let's discuss about the characteristics of the synthetic fibers in the summary form so this is very important question as per the exam point of view that state the four characteristics of synthetic fiber so the first synthetic fibers process possess the unique characteristics which make them popular uh, dress materials so which are this characteristic the first is they dry up quickly so whenever you wash the clothes which are made out of synthetic fibers they don't take a longer period of time trying to dry so during monsoon and winters where enough sunlight is not there this materials will dry quickly and so they are so durable and they long last they less expensive you don't need to pay lot suppose if you go for the leather jacket or a pure wool jacket you need to pay a hundreds of rupees but if you go for the acrylic jacket or the synthetic fiber jacket they come in a very cheap affordable price readily available and they are easy to maintain so they are wrinkle free they remain crisp they don't need of iron again and again so because of all these properties they have gained a huge popularity now this is activity 2 we will go quickly it is so easy activity you can perform right now you can take synthetic fiber and you can take the uh, natural fiber like you can take a cotton cotton handkerchief at the same time you can take some synthetic handkerchief and sprinkle some water over it and uh, you can see that if the natural fiber is soaking more water or the synthetic fiber is soaking more water but you remember you have to take 
the dimension with the both the material same dimension you can't take one one cloth bigger in a size and the other with the smaller in a size so you have you just measure it as a handkerchief you can take the nylon or you can take some rayon and at the other you can take some cotton so and just check sprinkle some water and check which piece of material soak more water now after this activity you might have observed that the synthetic fiber they do not soak much water and that is the reason they dry up quickly and whereas natural fibers soak lot of water and so they take time uh, they take time to uh, dry so they are not as quick as a synthetic fiber so we have discussed about the all synthetic fiber the first was rayon second was nylon the third one was polyester in that we discuss about the terry lin and even we discuss about the wool like material which is acrylic where they are used how they are prepared and even we have differentiated their characteristic using an activity so i hope you have understood so far for the next portion of this chapter which is the plastic and the types of plastic i'll be discussing about it in detail with my next presentation or the next slide hope you have enjoyed the slide 2 part 2 of this chapter see you for the next presentation in part 3